my mind was spinning. A million thoughts and ideas cascaded down the glaciers of my mind as I tried to redirect them into a peaceful sea. Why don't we get that we're here for God? We let so many things distract us. So many things take our gaze off of Him. This whole thing is so much more than this moment. To begin to see our world not just as the dronings of the day to day, rather the grand story that we are invited into. The story of relating to each other the way Jesus himself related to us. A story of suffering through pain and brokenness. God is using the broken pieces to form wholeness in him. That the greatest and deepest joy one can find is not based on changing circumstances, but on a God who transcends our reality. The glow of the phone light covers us like a blanket. Its echoes fill empty moments of silence with noise. Notifications taunt us with human approval, never leaving us satisfied. We can't take a moment to look up from our phone because we're scared of missing out. But maybe, just maybe, as we look down at our phone, we're missing out on a deep, life-changing, all-encompassing, spirit-rejuvenating connection with God. Tomorrow I'll pray. Tomorrow I'll begin to study the Word of God. Tomorrow I'll put the screen down and look. Tomorrow I'll take these headphones off and listen. How can we expect to hear from God when we continually pump noise into our ears? That's all it is. Noise. But what God offers, it's a symphony. Like a tree planted by the water, we're nourished. We grow thirsty when our roots draw away from the water power and presence. God is near and God is active in his power. Distracted, just too distracted to begin to open our eyes to see what God can do. Prideful, just too prideful to lay down our plans to see that God has already written ours. Scared, just too scared of living a life that looks different. What am I missing out on? What will I regret missing? Nothing absolutely nothing.